The Architect Scale Rule is a common tool for creating and interpreting scale drawings. Each side of the ruler has two scales, one red from left to right, and one from right to left. These scales are listed at fractions at either end of the scale rule. For instance, the scale on the left is 1 8 inch. For each scale, the name of the fraction is equal to 1 foot 0 inches in the real world. In other words, for every 8th inch measured on the page in the 8th inch scale, it equals 1 foot in the real world. When using the scale rule, always begin at the 0 and read towards the opposite end of the ruler. For the 8th inch scale, for instance, read from the 0 from left to right. For the quarter inch scale, you would read from right to left. Each tick in between the zeros on either end of the scale represents a measurement of feet. Notice the numbers listed beneath some of the marks. Those that align with the zero represent a number of feet in that scale. For instance, in the eighth inch scale, the fourth tick following the zero is marked as four. This represents four feet, zero inches. Therefore, each tick in the eighth inch scale is one foot. The quarter inch scale is twice the size of the eighth inch scale. Therefore, each tick represents six inches. In this example, the line measured in the eighth inch scale equals six feet in length. The same length measured in the quarter inch scale would be three feet. If every measurement ended exactly on a one foot increment, the job wouldn't be all that difficult. But as you might have guessed, it's important to be able to include increments of inches and fractions of inches. That's where the inches scale comes in. When looking at the scale rule, the series of small ticks outside of the zero indicate either inches or fractions of inches. No matter the scale, the small ticks add up to equal one foot or 12 inches. For the quarter inch scale shown here, there are 12 ticks inside of the inch scale. That means that each tick is actually worth one inch. The same holds true for the eighth inch scale. Where there are only six ticks, that means that each tick is worth two inches. In this example, notice that the line measures at least six feet, but not quite seven feet. In order to determine the exact measurement of the line, we will slide the scale rule down until it aligns with the six foot measurement. Then we'll count our way back into the inches and see that it actually measures six feet, eight inches. This process is similar for all measurements performed with the scale rule. Once you're familiar with how it's done, it's a piece of cake.